Hi guys, today I'm going to be filming my August Q&A video, but before I get into that, I wanted to um, talk about a couple things. First thing is I am in my old or my bedroom at home right now, and that is because I am home for just this weekend visiting. I just came home for the weekend and I had some time to film, so I'm going to be filming a couple videos in my room. And um, I also wanted to apologize for not having a video up on this channel for almost two weeks. I have... I don't think I've ever gone that long before, but I've honestly just been extremely busy. Um, when I am in LA at school, school takes up so much of my time and the free time that I do have is taken up by either homework or trying to, you know, like hang out with my friends and things like that and it's just very difficult to find time for YouTube and I hate that. I can't promise when I'm going to have videos up, I'm just going to let you guys know that I'm going to put videos up whenever I have time and whenever I can and it still is so important to me. It's just that it's really, really difficult to balance with school and the work I have and all the other things that I have to do in my life. So that is why I haven't had a video up for the past two weeks. That's basically my excuse. I know a lot of you guys are very upset with me, but just please try to understand that I am filming as much as I possibly can and it's not that I don't want to film or that YouTube isn't important to me it's just that I can't upload as much as I was doing now that I am in school so that's basically the reason for that and I, I hate that I have to say that because YouTube is like the thing I want to do most and invest all of my time into so that's that and then last thing before I go ahead and get started with my Q&A is that I wanted to let you guys know that I am actually going to be on this year's Seventeen's Beauty Smarty Showdown. It's called the All Star Edition, so I don't know if you guys have seen it before, but it's on the YouTube channel, the Hello Style channel, which I will link the channel in the description box, and I wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to be on it competing with um, a bunch of other beauty gurus that you guys probably know. It was super fun to film. I filmed it a couple weeks ago. I'm so, so excited for you guys to see all the episodes, and it's basically just like a challenge between us, and we're raising money for um, our favorite charities, which is really awesome. And it was just so much fun to film and all the other girls were so awesome and great competition So um, that's going to be every Thursday. I think at 3 p.m. I think it's Pacific time or Eastern time. I don't know But um, the episodes are gonna premiere once a week every Thursday So the promo is already up and then the first real episode is gonna be up this Thursday So I'm gonna go ahead and link the channel in the description box if you guys want to go over and check out um, the trailer and subscribe to Hello Style if you want to see those episodes and also the um, you guys are going to be voting on who you think like did the best in all of the challenges and then at the end of the competition which isn't for a few months we won't know but at the end of the competition um, the winner is going to be the person who's raised the most money for their charity and that all-star they called us is going to get to be in 17 and have a feature and that's like literally my dream so um, it, like it's one of my life dreams to be in 17 magazine Magazine. So um, I would just love if you guys would support me and go over and maybe vote for me when it's my chance to vote and I'll tweet and everything about the episodes I'm in but yeah I just wanted to let you guys know about that and um, go ahead and check it out if you want to. And now all of that talking is over, I apologize for that, um, let's go ahead and get into the August Q&A. So um, I say this at the beginning of every one of these videos but if you want to participate in these just follow me on Twitter at BeautyBaby44 and I tweet once a month when I'm going to be doing them. So. Let's see what you guys are asking. Sarah on Taki says, what was your first concert? So my first concert was not even a, really a real concert. I mean, it was, but you didn't have to pay to get in because it was at Six Flags. Um, I was in seventh grade and it was the main and um, no, 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 no. It wasn't the main. I saw them in eighth grade. It was um, Boys Like Girls and Metro Station. So if you remember those bands, thumbs up this video. I mean, they're not that old. Metro Station kind of died, but yeah, the, that was my first concert and it was so much fun. Lauren underscore Ann 33 says, do you like college? What are your classes? And love you, Lindsay. So I love you too. And do I like college? Um, I don't like the work at all, shockingly, because I'm a very lazy person. But I do like living in LA and being in college. So I would say kind of. It's just like I hate the workload because I actually have a ton of work, which I mean, I knew I was going to have a ton of work, but it just kind of sucks. Um, and then what are your classes? My classes are um, Marketing Essentials, Color and Design Theory, Survey of Western Art, and um, the Retail Environment. Those are my classes for this quarter, but they're going to change in like five weeks. So those are my current classes. 
Alexa Maria 98 says who would you want to see front row in concert and um, I've seen a, a front row <laughs> I mean I could say a lot of people but I'm just gonna see someone that I actually haven't seen in concert that I would love to see in concert and that is Miley Cyrus um, when her new album comes out I'm pretty sure she's doing a tour so I'm definitely going to be there and hopefully have very good seats but um, I've been to a ton of concerts of people that like I love so um, I wouldn't say them just because I've already I guess been to their shows even though I wasn't front row but um, yeah that's probably who I would like to see most at least like in concert right now and being front row would of course be amazing. Maddie underscore Gail says what has been the hardest adjustment being in LA? Love you Lindsay. I would say it really is just balancing all of the things that I have to do. Obviously it hasn't been that easy. It was easy when I had pre-filmed videos and it's just so difficult to find time to do all of the things that I need to do. Like I don't know it's just it's so hard to find time because I my days are just like taken up most of my days by classes or the other days doing homework or like just you know just doing things that I have to do and it's so difficult to just uh, manage everything and like going to school so that's definitely the hardest adjustment and I mean I guess just like missing people but it's kind of like I know that I'm gonna see the people here like sometime soon so it's not that difficult because it's not like I don't know what I'm gonna see you next but I mean definitely missing like my family okay my phone charger just fell out of the wall there Selmer Sierra says are you still going to live in the same apartment as you're in right now or are you and Emily going to move somewhere else um, I don't know, but right now I'm in student housing, and I love my roommates. I love Emily, Julian, and Yunji, who are all my roommates. But for me, personally, student housing, I don't plan on staying in student housing for longer than this quarter because we are overpaying a lot of money. Um, I'm not going to tell you the amount of money we're paying, but we're paying a lot of money for a twin-size bed and like to share a room, and it's just not that nice of an apartment as you could get for the money that we're paying so I think I'm going to be moving to another apartment I don't know where I don't know when but um, basically student housing is just very very overpriced at my school and the reason I did it the first quarter was because it's very close to the school and it would be good to meet people and things like that but I didn't really think I was gonna stay in it longer than that so um, I'll update you but yeah I think I'm going to be moving to um, a nicer a nicer apartment where I can like you know actually get my money's worth but I don't know what Emily's planning to do yet or what my other roommates are planning to do but we'll just see well we'll figure it out <laughs> Danny Deba says have you seen any famous people on the street since you've moved to LA and a few people have asked me this and I have not I haven't seen any famous people and I'm really upset about it yeah I feel like I'm not really like looking hard enough or maybe I'm I don't know but hopefully I will see a famous person soon <laughs> okay next question I see here is from Christy or strawberry elect um, Strawberry Electric 48, and she says, do you know what an ampersand, ampersand is? I don't. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to Google it because I'm very interested. An ampersand is a logogram and representing the, oh, the kanji, blah, 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 blah. it's the little and sign, basically. These are complicated words to explain that, but now I know. <laughs> Fatima M underscore says what's the next YouTube event you'll be attending and I'm very excited because it's coming up really soon I'm going to be attending BeautyCon at the end of the month. Um, it's in somewhere in LA <laughs> I should probably know a lot more about it, but I am hoping not positive yet hoping to have a meetup there and it's open to the public and I'm pretty positive that it's actually free to the public like you don't have to buy a ticket so if you guys live around the LA area the whole thing is August 22nd to 24th I think um, I'm not sure which day is like the meeting people day I'll link the BeautyCon website in the description box I guess and you guys can check it out if you want want to come so um, yeah a lot of people have been asking me if, if I'm gonna have like an LA meetup and I think that would be like a great place to do it especially because you don't have to even pay to get into the event it's just free for everyone so that's awesome so um, I went to BeautyCon last year and it was really fun it's gonna be even bigger and better this year so definitely if you live around the LA area and you would be interested in coming and meeting some other beauty gurus and myself then you should try and come Danielle Tammy 10 says do you want to get any more piercings by the way love you I love you too and I actually do I've been meeting for so 
long, I want to get more ear piercings. Like, I literally just want piercings all the way up both of my hair is really annoying me today. But um, I want piercings, like, all the way up both of my ears. For a while, I thought I wanted my belly button pierced, but I'm glad I never got that done because I... I don't want it anymore so I'm glad that when I actually like I didn't want it super bad like obviously because I didn't go and get it but I thought I wanted my belly button pierced but um that was a weird noise I personally just don't think that I don't like them anymore I don't want one anymore okay and my camera is beeping at me on low battery so I'm just gonna answer one more question for today and let's see it is from it's Carla underscore XO and she says, how's college different from high school? By the way, I love you. I love you too. It's very different, at least from my personal experience so far. I'm going to tell you what I've experienced so far and that is that you just basically have, you get to make your own schedule to, a, to an extent. Um, you don't have the same classes every single day, like Monday through Friday, like at least for me in high school, I had the same thing every single day and it just got really old and boring. So I have different classes on different days and I got to like pick the times, which was really, really great because I didn't want any morning classes and I succeeded at that. And other than that, you just like I don't know you have you definitely have like more work outside of class and you have to like balance that with your life and everything but um, it's just I would say it's just definitely like more freedom like if you're not in class the teacher isn't gonna like care really it's like your own fault if you're missing class so you just have to like be responsible and keep up with things for yourself and you know the teachers aren't gonna like treat you like a baby they're gonna treat you like you're an adult because you are an adult and um yeah it's just different but it's different in a good way at least I thought it was so that's all the questions I'm gonna answer for today's Q&A video I really really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did you can give this video a thumbs up and I would love it so before I end this video I did want to say that if you're not subscribed to my personal channel I have actually been pretty good at uploading vlogs on that channel I love doing vlogs um, of just things that I'm doing in my life so if you guys are interested in that and you haven't checked out my personal channel live in like Lindsay I'll link it down below because that's definitely where I upload a decent number of videos like if I'm not uploading on this channel very much I'm probably uploading on that channel and I need to balance them better but um, I'm still working on that but I do love filming vlogs for you guys so if you're interested in more of just my life and what I'm doing then you should go check out that channel and subscribe because I've been posting um, a decent amount of vlogs on there so thank you guys so much for watching I love you guys and um, I will see you in my next video bye